Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College uh, at the Zoe Chapel of Life Cathedral and bringing to you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Uh, this um, morning's thought runs through uh, this phrase, uh, uh, postures of prejudice, P-O-P, -P, postures of prejudice. Uh, do you remember in 1 Samuel chapter 1 from verse 14 to 17, now, if you remember, now, Anna came to the temple, and when, and when she came, I mean, she was of a sorrowful spirit, she was praying, and um, not just praying, but, you know, she was in anguish of spirit, because Penina, her rival, I mean, Elkanah had two wives, and Penina just made her life miserable, because Penina kept reminding her of what she did not have, and that is a child. And all throughout when they go to the temple that is when they go to a place of celebration when they go to a place of joy that is where penina chose to inflict emotional pain on on anna and the bible says she entered the temple and in anguish of spirit and in anguish of of heart broken torn tattered emotions she began to pray but there was something very very interesting now the way she was praying the bible said eli now the, the priest, the way she was praying, Eli had not seen that type of prayer before. Because Eli said to her, why, why, why would you put wine, put away wine from you? Look, you are in God's house. Look at the way you are praying. You are praying like a drunkard. That means Anna was bending. She was staggering. She, you know, everything, the, 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 everything drunkards do. The way she was walking was like a drunkard. The way she was talking, her lips that were moving, was like a drunkard, and everything she was doing, that was how Eli saw it. That was how Eli saw it. I repeat again, that was how Eli saw it. Now, she was praying. She wasn't drunk, remember? She had not eaten. She had not drunk anything. And she was praying. She was pouring out her heart. But Eli, sitting somewhere, who didn't understand what was going on in the woman. She didn't, he, did, he did not understand the emotional trauma that she was going through. He just, where he was sitting, it was, a push, it was a position of prejudice. And he said, she looks like a drunkard. She behaves like a drunkard. She talks like a drunkard. Meanwhile, that wasn't what it is. You know, sometimes where you stand determines what you see. And sometimes we, we, we position ourselves in places of prejudice. Said that we don't even know the full facts of the case. But we, 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 we pass sweeping judgment. And he, here are the, the ingredients of the, those positions. And, and I just, I, I wrote it down. So the, number one, you get it. First of all, when he was going to ask her, he asked her with accusation. You get it? I've already made up a formed mind. I mean, he asked her with accusation, why wouldn't you put away a drink from you, you, you drunkard? He, he comes across to her with accusation. Find out first before you accuse. And, this, and it's based upon, you know, by what we see. You know, Eli, Eli's uh, reaction was what he thought he saw. You know, what he saw and um, what he knew. He, he, he was comparing how drunkards behave with the way the woman was behaving. Meanwhile, she had not drunk anything. Meanwhile, she had not drunk anything. So it's what we know, what we think, you know. And then also to uh, what, what, uh, what we think we, 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 we are hearing. Everything, everything that Eli said was very presumptuous. And what bothered me a lot was that he was a man of God. What bothered me? was he was a man of God. He should know better. He didn't even draw close to her. He didn't even smell alcohol on her. He just sat far back there and passed a sweeping judgment on the poor woman. Meanwhile, that woman 
was bleeding. She was emotionally traumatized. She was going through anguish of spirit. She, she was carrying a storehouse of bitterness in her womb of her spirit. And that was what she was doing. And yet, he not checking the facts, he not finding out, by, by sitting in a position of prejudice, by having a posture of prejudice, he assumed that the woman was drunk. You know what? Don't judge people until you find out. Sometimes we need to walk a mile in people's shoes then we'll know what they are going through. Sometimes we need to approach them and find out from them. You hear their side. You hear what they have. You see what they are going through. You hear from them. And then you can pass judgment on them. As for that one, they don't have control of it. But give people a chance. That is, find out before you make those sweeping statements and hurt people and lacerate the already wounded emotions of people, already wounded souls of people, and cut them and bruise them. And one of the things that I find out about Jesus, which was very, very, was a bruised reed he will not break and a smoking flax he will not quench. The flax is smoking. It is obnoxious to the nostrils. It is something that will make other people cough, you know, but Jesus won't put it out. He would rather relight the flame. And people who are already bruised, they are already bruised. They, they, they are going through trauma. Don't sit somewhere else and hurt them the more. Don't shoot the wounded. They already hurt him. You know what? Your position of prejudice will make you pass sweeping judgment on other people, alienate them if they don't have a, 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 an opportunity to say what it is. And if you don't find out the truth, you might go out there and tell other people, look at that drunken woman who came to pray. That's not true. You know what? Your postures of prejudice or your positions of prejudice would make you hurt other people without knowing the full facts. See you later.